What's up guys, my name is Glassfoot, and welcome to another episode of Tabletop Tales. A name I totally came up with on my own. Yeah, definitely didn't get it from a comment from someone. No, but in all seriousness, uh, to the guy that commented that name on the last one, uh, thank you very much. I actually really do like the name. I hope you don't mind that I've decided to use it. But, beside the point, today, the tale of the time I got abandoned by the party and left to die. Alright, so if you've seen my D&D uh, &D character tales Rissok video, the video on my first D&D &D character ever, Rissok, the half-orc ranger, who is basically Aragon, but a half-orc. I like Lord of the Rings, shut up. But anyway, he was the first character that I ever truly made for the first campaign I ever played, which happened to be Tyranny of Dragons, just being run by my buddy Zack. We were running that with a while, uh, there was a group of like four or five of us that were consistently playing. Um, after a while, unfortunately, some real life stuff happened in there that I don't want to get into this video because I don't think it is my place to divulge that kind of thing. Needless to say, a couple of the party members got booted from our action, from our like real life friend group. So we <laughs> bring in a couple of new players to get things going as opposed to trying to work them into the storyline that we had. We started a new campaign with my friend Zach again DMing. Um, eventually, after we finished that, which was known as Treasure Island, which I had a lot of fun playing that one, I might do a story video on that eventually. But after completing Treasure Island, we went back to Tyranny of Dragons, worked in the new characters, and went from there. Now, because the three remaining members of the original party were still there, and we were the three that were consistently making the most, we nicknamed ourselves The Holy Trinidad and Company. Now, that, that nickname didn't come around till the very end, but the reason that we called ourselves that is the characters that existed were uh, Eric, the Paladin, Audric, the Cleric, and then myself, Rissok, the Ranger. But it was a Paladin of Bahamut and a Cleric of Bahamut. Somehow he was also a Storm Cleric, but that is beside the point. Because they were both devoted to Bahamut, the joke became that where they met each other was Bahamut University. And uh, a joke came about that Rissok met them at the technical branch of Bahamut U. So hence why we named ourselves the Holy Trinidad. Uh, anyway, we kept going and the whole reason that we were just the Holy Trinidad and company is because literally every party member we brought in died. Like, they might make it two, maybe three sessions, they would all eventually bite the dust. <laughs> and so we became the Holy Trinidad and company because we just kept recruiting everyone we met along the way. Seriously, it was impressive that Eric, Audric, and Rissok managed to make it as long as they did, being as we didn't die pretty much the entirety of the campaign. Anyway, after, you know, tracking the cult, stealing their sheaths for our own because we liked the dope-ass dragon designs, we eventually found what the cult was wanting to do, and we made our way into a place known as Castle Skyreach, Skyreach Castle. Yes, that is what uh, we named it. Um, our group is very fond of jokes like that. We, we are weird. Anyway, uh, we made it to Skyreach Castle and we go through and do normal shenanigans where our paladin decides to sleep with literally everything. He tried getting with a rock giant. Y you know how normally the bard is the horny one? Well, we didn't have a bard, so our paladin took up that. <laughs> and I was actually surprised that our paladin kept sleeping with everything because um, at this point, Eric and Rissok, we got ourselves arrested and thrown into a uh, dungeon where the only way in or out was through a fucking hentai room. Yeah, I wish I was joking that. No, no, no. Uh, Eric and Rissok got hentai. But yeah, I, I thought that was going to put Eric off of just boning everyone. It did not. Anyway, we're in the castle and Eric manages to seduce, or so he thinks, the big bad, a black dragonborn that um, he wanted to sleep with. Eric likes sleeping with things. But anyway, he managed to do that and we ended up just waiting outside of the chamber for however long, just twiddling our thumbs. Anyway, after Erica finishes with the dragonborn, she starts questioning him and basically outs that she knows that he is trying to kill her and we're trying to get the black dragon mask off of her. Well then, uh, you know, fight breaks out, we try to kill her. I can't remember if we actually managed to kill her or not, at least at that point. I think we did. I think we did manage to kill her. But anyway, 
Uh, we bolt because obviously I one of us ended up setting up uh, Lehman's tiny hut to sleep really fast. Uh, we ended up sleeping for eight hours when we awoke. Uh, when we awoke, we were surrounded because you know we set up a spell that doesn't let us go anywhere in the middle of the enemy's territory. Like smart people, <laughs> but. Anyway, after we did that, like idiots, we were a smart party. But anyway, after that goes down, we attack. We fought a number of mages who decided to put walls of fire around us, separating myself and the warlock or wizard, I can't remember which, from the paladin and the cleric. Now, Rissok was prone to anger very quickly. Like, if you tried to murder him and his friends, you were shown no quarter. So, Rissak gets fly cast on himself and jumps over the firewall, only to have it dispelled, which I don't actually think uh, the DM could have done, but that is beside the point. Anyway, uh, the fly got dispelled and he fell into the fire, burning himself, and then bull rushed the wizard through the fire. I don't know what I was thinking when I did that. I was thinking maybe I could intimidate him. I failed. I got knocked out. I think by magic missile, sadly. Anyway, uh, Rissok's ass got knocked out. And so the cleric and the paladin, seeing that they were outnumbered and afraid of dying, ran away. Yep, two members of the Holy Trinidad abandoned the third. I was saddened by that, but they ended up running away and Rissok got his ass captured. They ended up killing Company, who, by the way, the whole reason we named them, we named our group the Holy Trinidad and Company is because, for whatever reason, the player who was playing the fourth member that day decided to name his new character Company. C Company died because he refused to turn himself over to the wizards. Yeah, Rissok got abandoned and was presumed dead, but if you, uh, again, if you've seen my uh, character tales on Rissok video, you will know that Rissok actually survived. He managed to not die at the hands of the crazy wizards. Uh, uh, they basically brainwashed him and he showed up again in the final fight uh, as an like, enemy character. That didn't actually do anything other than the character showed up. He survived um, after Tiamat's defeat. It basically worked as an imperious spell from Harry Potter where he kind of regained his senses and was like, yeah, I'm just gonna go do ranger shit more. And so he just left. What I, uh, when I was asked our DM uh, if Rissot could survive, if Rissot, you know, uh, wouldn't be killed, I was kind of angling for maybe a rescue mission uh, of the character, trying to get him back from the evil guys. That clearly didn't pan out. Our DM at the time, Zach, he uh, very much liked to stick to the module as much as possible. Not that, that he would railroad us, but the rest of the group wasn't really into uh, heavier role playing and kind of going off script versus me. So I was trying to angle that. That clearly didn't happen. Sadly, uh, that was the tale of how Rissok, my first ever character, got abandoned by his party members because he bull rushed a wizard when he probably shouldn't have. Hey guys, I hope that you enjoyed that video. If you did, uh, leave a like and comment, you know, all that jazz. If you enjoyed the video and would like to see more content from me, namely reviews of different movies, TV shows, books, uh, stuff like that, then hit the subscribe button to keep informed. If you would like to follow me on Twitter or Instagram, links to both of those are going to be in the description down below as always. If you'd like to see my last uh, Tabletop Tale video, I'm going to leave that linked right there. If you would like to see uh, my Rissock video, I'll leave that linked right there. But that is all that I have for now, guys. Have a great day, and as always, peace out.